My name is Janine Minguillo. I'm the project manager on this project for FEMI 3B2 at Fire Island. So this project is Fire Island to Marich's Inlet. It's a stabilization project. Right now we're in Point of Woods. The Army Corps is placing sand as part of a coastal storm risk management project. There's about uh, 400,000 cubic yards remaining on this project of a total of a 2.3 million cubic yards award at, uh, at the time of the contract. There's been uh, several specific challenges and kind of unique to this time. There's uh, the COVID-19 response was uh, impacted this project in some ways that we had some of our team members took an active part in, in doing that work. Not only were they doing that, that emergency work, but also tracking this project. Some additional things are the weather, of course, working outside, um, some issues with storms and connecting these pipes. Uh, we're in an area where there's piping plovers. So where those plovers are, they're um, protected species. So we have to maintain a, about a thousand meter uh, distance buffer from doing our work from them. So working together with our partners, local stakeholders, the um, other federal partners, New York State DEC, Fish and, and Wildlife, having all these people on our team from the beginning and maintaining open communication throughout the project has helped us overcome when we did have those um, issues come up. The project is intended as a coastal storm risk management project, so there's uh, many layers of the benefits for this project. Overall, the risk protection is for Long Island and the Great South Bay, and as a barrier island, that is the main aspect of this project. Other people who benefit from this project are the people, are the beachgoers and the, the uh, recreational use here, but also um, there's a Fire Island National Seashore, there's protected and endangered species. So they are also benefiting from this work and there's a lot of coordination that has to happen to make sure that everything uh, goes well and safely. The project is expected to be complete on June 19th of this year, 2020.